Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. Now today we're going to be taking a look to see how the iPhone 12 Pro has been on the latest release of iOS, iOS 14.3. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. Taking a look at overall performance, there's really not much to say since this iPhone is using the latest A14 Bionic SoC from Apple. As expected, performance as a whole, such as opening up apps and playing games, is the exact same as iOS 14.2.1, iOS 14.2, and iOS 14.1. This means that there have been no noticeable decreases or increases in overall performance. Now, RAM management has also been flawless, and this time I'm actually not joking. As expected, this latest iPhone hasn't had one issue with RAM management in my experience. Now, unlike every iPhone before it, the iPhone 12 Pro, like the one I'm using here, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max have 6GB of RAM. Paired with iOS's mostly fantastic RAM management, well, you get it. This iPhone definitely has held up very, very well in terms of RAM management. For once, I can finally talk about an iPhone that has had no issues with animations. Well, actually, that's kind of a lie thanks to the iPhone 11, but come on, let me have this. Now, while the iPhone 12 Pro did miss out on the ProMotion thanks to LTPO panel issues, this iPhone has incredibly smooth system animations. There's really not much else to say in regards to animations, of course being the one time that there's nothing wrong with them. Now before I get into battery life, as always, I should take a second to mention that my iPhone 12 Pro is running off of a maximum battery capacity of 100% and has never had a restart. Well, I should really, really hope so. This means that my iPhone 12 Pro is not being performance throttled. Now there was really no point in saying any of that since A, it's pretty obvious, and B, even the iPhone 11s don't have the power management feature, feature, yet. Now battery life is pretty simple, no different than any previous iOS 14 releases in my experience. If you're watching this video as you own an iPhone 12 Pro, you should note that the battery performance you're getting now should be the same after you update, if you so choose to. What? Well, I'm not sure where toe came from, but I meant to say if you so choose to. We're not going to talk about it, let's just move on. Now, standby time is a bit different. Many iPhone 12 users, whether that be iPhone 12 mini, 12, iPhone 12 Pro, or iPhone 12 Pro Max, are reporting severe battery drain on standby time. Now, I've not been affected by this personally on any iOS 14 release, but affected users seem to be reporting that it has not been addressed in this release of iOS 14. Now, keep in mind that your battery performance can and will most likely vary from mine. Now, if you thought the newest iPhone lineup having battery drain issues was bad enough, let's talk about overheating. Again, I've had no issues with this personally. However, other early iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro adopters are reporting overheating. Now, it does not look like this has necessarily been fixed in iOS 14.3, but I've seen no new reports. Now, let me know in the comments if you are experiencing battery drain or overheating. Yes, even for the latest lineup of iPhones, we still make our way back to the main question of should you update? Well, not yet, but yes. I recommend waiting at least a week or two before hitting that install button. Why? Well, by waiting, it allows time to see if any surprise major issues are reported. Take my advice or don't, that is up to you. All right, everyone, that is all I have for this video. Now, if you do have any questions or you just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. Of course, definitely make sure to follow me on Twitter, even though I'm taking a break from it in the, the links in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.